Today on our show, we have some exciting news. The Pioneer is bringing back a special print edition, the first since we moved online due to the COVID-19 pandemic in March 2020. We will also take a look at one of our reporters, Maha Sanad's visit to the Hayward Plunge on Mission Street. Hi, I'm Monet Trochi, the Editor-in-Chief of The Pioneer. And I'm Scarlett Schwenk, the Managing Editor. Welcome to this edition of East Bay Weekly. Where we report on campus and community stories affecting the lives of students and communities surrounding the East Bay. The Pioneer's print edition looks at the future of East Bay's campus in spring 2022, in addition to arts and culture in the community and an exclusive look back at students' return to campus throughout the fall 2021 semester. The Pioneer staff are really excited for the print edition with over 7,000 issues being distributed throughout the greater East Bay area, including Casha Valley, Fremont, Hayward, Newark, San Leandro, and our Hayward and Concord campuses. Scarlett, what are some of the things that will be featured on the print edition? Some of the students from photojournalism will be showcased in print documenting Kaiser employee striking, CSU East Bay's commuter day, and the San Francisco Ferry riderships since March 2020. Now let's welcome one of our colleagues in the Pioneer Advertising Agency, Samira Flores. Samira, thank you for joining us today and welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. How can a person get their business advertised and who can they contact? So um, you can contact us via email, phone, and in person. We're located in the Meikle John Building, um, third floor, room 3037. Um, our email is pioneer.advertising at csueastbay.edu and our phone number is 510-885-3526. And why are advertisements important for the consumer, business, and company? They're important because this allows um, competitors to compete, I mean, companies to compete with their competitors and engage in a new and larger audience. And how are online ads different than print ads? So our online ads are virtual and can be accessed anywhere at any time, while our um, paper issues are only, um, they're physical and they're only accessible to where they're um, located. Thank you, Samira and the Pioneer Advertising Team. Next semester, we have plans also to expand our coverage on East Bay Weekly. Sign up for our newsletter for the latest information about Pioneer Online. Let's take a look at the video from field reporter Maha Sanad's recent visit to the Hayward Plunge and the story she captured. Hi, Pioneers. My name is Maha Sanad, and I'm the social media editor for the Pioneer newspaper. And today we are here at the Hayward Plunge, located in downtown Hayward. While Halloween is over, spooky season definitely isn't for Hayward locals. The Hayward Plunge is located just a few minutes away from the Cal State East Bay campus, and there are rumors of murders that happened here, supposedly in the 1960s. Let's get into it. The legend goes that a swim coach took his entire swim team up to this trail right where I am standing. He then told them he would be leaving, but would shortly return, and that they should wait for him here. He then returned after dark and supposedly murdered the entire team in cold blood. He then dumped their bodies into the running water before escaping. There is no solid evidence to show that these rumors are true, and it is difficult to pinpoint where exactly the rumors originated from. But to add on to the spooks, some locals even claim that the plunge is haunted. There have been reports of ghostly cries of children running around, mysterious cold spots, and unexplained rock slides after dark. There's no solid evidence to show that the murders actually occurred, but we do know that at least one person has drowned here. According to a June 21, 1945 article in the Hayward Journal, an eight-year-old boy was found dead in the pool about 10 hours after fatally drowning. There were no witnesses to the struggle, leaving the accident to remain unexplained. As spooky as the legends of the murders are, it is unlikely that we will ever have a solid answer to where the rumors came from. And with the plunge being nearly 100 years old, it's bound to have a rich history. So, what do you think of the rumors? Do you think that the plunge is haunted? Let us know. I'm Maha Sanad, and thank you for tuning in. That concludes East Bay Weekly. I'm Scarlett Schwenk. Be sure to check us out on Twitter at News Pioneer, Instagram at The Pioneer Online, and Facebook at The Pioneer Newspaper, or head to the link below. And I'm Monet Trochi. Make sure you head to your local newsstand today to pick up your print edition of The Pioneer. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.